We are just days away from a once in a lifetime celestial event, a total eclipse of the sun. On April 8th, we will be able to see a partial eclipse from here in San Diego, where the moon will look like it's taking a bite out of the sun. Joining us now is NASA expert Dr. Raphael Atti to tell us more about the exciting experience. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, so glad to have you here. Okay, this eclipse is a major viewing event. Everybody loves to get out there. We're not in the path of totality, but what can our viewers expect to see, obviously weather permitting that day? Uh, of course, yes. Um, the, the eclipse uh, for you guys is going to be at about 53.8% uh, um, of totality. So you will see a very, with a, if you have the, the solar uh, eclipse glasses, uh, you will see a very nicely shaped sun in the in the shape of a very nice croissant and um, uh, you will also see it if you don't have it with glasses and if you put your your hand like in a waffle uh, you project also a cute little croissant as well um, which reproduce simply the the shape of the sun obscured by the moon okay this is fascinating and obviously as you just mentioned the glasses nobody should be looking directly at the sun so what exactly do people need to know if they haven't been out and experienced this before Yes, absolutely. You absolutely need to uh, use your eclipse glasses, uh, special eclipse glasses, uh, to see the eclipse because otherwise, you know, the sun, even though it is obscured a little bit by the moon, it is still too bright for your eyes. And so if you look at it without the glasses, uh, it can harm uh, your eyes. Okay, good advice. What are you most excited about for this eclipse? Anything in particular? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I had my first uh, eclipse. Uh, I saw it in France in 1999 when I was very little. And I think it made uh, what I am today and where I work today at NASA Goddard. So uh, it's a life changing experience. So I really uh, I encourage everyone to go see it. Um, so that's really as a personal, you know, a, a, a citizen um, uh, experience. But as a scientist, also, I'm going to do some experiments and I'm fascinated by it because it's um, a unique moment where we can see um, the light we otherwise cannot see from, from the sun, the outer, the outer part of the solar atmosphere that we call the corona. And it's a very beautiful, mesmerizing uh, part of the sun that that nobody, uh, no one, not, not a lot of people really know because uh, it's one million times uh, dimmer than the, the, the sun itself. And so it's only during the total, the total solar eclipse that you can observe that from Earth. And we're almost out of time, but I just want to ask you, so people across the U.S., they're going to treat this solar eclipse uh, similar to what we saw in 2017. I remember that experience. Will there be anything different with this one versus what we experienced back in 2017? Yes, it will be different. I think it's an even greater eclipse because um, it's going to last about twice longer and it's going to be visible from much more uh, populated cities. At least twice more uh, people will get to see it with respect to uh, year 2017. Um, and also it will last about twice longer, you know, up to four minutes and a half uh, for some people. So that really makes it um, a much more interesting than in 2017 and much more spectacular spectacular because we are at solar max, you know, maximum of the solar cycle. So lots of activity, lots of, of stuff coming off of the sun, which will make the, the, the outer atmosphere of the sun, the corona, much more complex and tangled. So that's going to be very mesmerizing.